Natalie Trent, this is Peter McDermott, the friend I called you about. How do you do? You are welcome, Mr. McDermott. Just that I wasn't expecting three guests. Uh, neither was I, but... Oh, I hope you don't mind Mr. Griffin as a friend, and, uh, you might say he has a professional interest in this sort of thing. Mr. Griffin, people with open minds are always welcome. Won't you come in, all of you? I suppose Mr. Anderson has explained that I don't speak. I am simply an open channel for the spirit world. She speaks through me. Linda speaks? No, no. My spirit guide, Selina, will answer your questions or consult another spirit who can. Selina will act as an intermediary between you and Linda. Now, if we are all ready, I step aside, freeing my body for you to enter. I welcome you to speak through me. So many of you. But I welcome all who are true seekers of knowledge. My name is Selina, and I am here to counsel, to advise, to comfort. Who will ask the first question of me? Go ahead, ask her something. <clears throat> well, uh, things were a little slow in my line of work. Or what can I expect in the future? The spirits who guide you promise continued success. Since your business is everyone else's business, it is your personal life that needs attention, your family. San Francisco is a long way from New York City. You have not called them in weeks. She's right. But we are here to talk about Linda. The bond between you is very strong. It forms a bridge to the spirit world. Then she's at peace. I, I guess that means I should get on with my life, uh, finally let her go. There is much turmoil, much confusion on the other side. You cannot let go of her, Richard Anderson because she will not let go of you. Mm -hmm. 